Over the course of the last week or so, several progressive outlets from the United States have released videos or articles about how the Biden administration is continuing to keep kids in cages and how evil that is. While I in general agree that children should not be kept in detention facilities for a misdemeanor like crossing the border illegally, what most of these pieces um, sadly don't really address is the problem of these being unaccompanied minors, not kids taken away from the families as it was a case with the Trump administration. And when these are unaccompanied minors who don't have family, the state is actually kind of obligated to take care of them. And that means also to house them. They can't just let them roam around freely. Now, of course, this leads to some problems, like where to house them. I'm not American, so I don't know how good the child care facilities in the United States are, according to some Americans with whom I'm conversed on the interwebs. Uh, they are not that good either. So, we are in kind of a bind here. And if we want to solve this, the American left should maybe start talking about the American child care system in general and how to reform it and how to better it. Because until you find family members of these minors who live in the United States and can take care of them, or any foster families that could be able to take care of them and sponsor them, they have to live in state housing, in state facilities. There's no real way around that. And those have to be kept up to a certain standard. And when we say don't put them into detention facilities because those are essentially prisons and all they did was commit a misdemeanor, not a felony, so they don't qualify to be housed in there, we have to say house, put them into a childcare facility or a foster house or home or whatever name you want to call it. But then those have to also live up to a certain standard and not just for unaccompanied minors who came into the country, but also kids from American parents who lost them and ended up in those facilities. That might be actually something with which you can also get people on board who don't really are pro-migration or pro-migrants. Just my two cents from the other side of the pond on this issue.